Hey, what's going on guys? Big Timer 110 here. Today, I want to show you how to install Carvin 7.0 for the OnePlus 6T. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, at this point, I'm assuming you have the usual, you know, you have the unlock bootloader and maybe even a custom recovery already installed on your phone. So what we're going to do today is a little bit different from the previous video. This time I'm gonna show you the process from the beginning where we installed OOS or Oxygen OS on both slots A and B. So make sure that before you get into your recovery and you're about to uh, install the console ROM that you have those files that are needed, okay? So you could just go to the website and you could just, you know, um, Download it from there. You can just go to the XDA developer forum for the OnePlus 6T and there is a, a Thread with the downloads with it, which I'll link I'll link on the description of the of this video. So Let's get into it. So we want to swipe here What we're going to do is we're gonna let's see we're gonna wipe factory settings and another thing is before you before you install custom mom what i do is i like to go into the security settings and erase my fingerprints and my lock screen you know password just to make things easier so now we're gonna go here as you can see i have the file there which is the oneplus 6t oxygen 34 ota 020 i think that's the latest i think that will put you on 9.0.13 if i'm not mistaken but Let's do this and let's flash. Okay, we'll let it do its thing. It'll take a while, you know the process. Okay, look like it's done. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna reboot yet because So what you want to do, you want to go to uh, advance, actually no, not advance, I'm sorry. You want to you wanna go to reboot and you see how it says current slot B, change that to A. Once you change that to A, just go back in there, go back, and then just go install again. And I would just install that same file just to make sure that it's installed on both, both slots. That way it'll make it easier. And keep in mind guys, I only do this exactly like this when I move from one ROM to another one. If you plan on keeping the same ROM and just updating it, you don't have to go through all this. You could just go into the recovery, wipe it, and just flash it on top. Or you could just dirty flash like a lot of people do. But you're, you're running, you know, uh, the risk of having some bugs here and there because you dirty flash so I personally don't mind starting all over because I just do the cloud recovery where it restores my phone and apps just how they were before so I don't mind that so at this point we're just gonna let it finish it's gonna take a while but we'll let it do its thing and then once we do that we're gonna reboot into the phone, skip everything, go into the settings, build number, you're gonna do a developer thing, get developer options, and once you go in there, you could just go in advanced reboot and turn it on, make sure OEM unlock is on, and now you can transfer all your files that, you, that we're gonna flash and get the phone ready for that. Okay. So once it's done, what I like to do all the time when I do this, so that I don't get no errors at all and no, you know, bugs, I go to wipe and I like to format my data. It's gonna erase everything that you have there. So make sure 
that before you went into this procedure, all, those, all these steps, that you backed up everything on your phone. Now, for me, all my pictures are backed up with Google Photos, so I, that doesn't matter for me. So videos, pictures, already backed up. Um, my text messages and, um, and my other apps already backed up, so, you know. So at this point, I, for me, I just do a format data. We're gonna type in Y-E-S for yes, and then we're gonna go and press the little check mark, and it's just gonna format everything. That way now, when we do a reboot system, it's gonna start off clean. So I'm probably gonna speed up all this because it's no point in looking at, this, at the screen just booting up. All right, so once we're in, you're gonna go start, agree, okay, just agree, I'm in, I'm in. <clears throat> okay, let's continue, we're gonna skip this part because we don't really need that. So we're gonna continue. We're also gonna do don't copy data because we don't need it right now, we're just trying to get into the settings right away. So we're just gonna do skip for now as well. Yep, we wanna skip. More, accept. <clears throat> We're gonna skip the fingerprint and the face unlock thingy. And once it finishes right now, hopefully. I don't know why I pressed that, doesn't even matter. Okay, next, once we're in, you're gonna go to settings. What? Bye-bye. There we go, ring. So anyways, you're gonna go into settings. Then we're gonna go into about phone. The usual, build number seven times. Boom, we're now a developer. You go back out, we're gonna go system. Oh, well before we go back in, as you can see, we're in 90.13, Android 9. So, um, you go into system. We're gonna go into developer options. Once you're in developer options, what I always suggest, okay, bootloader's already unlocked. I would always suggest advanced reboot. That way you don't have to be holding, you know, no volume up or down to go into the recovery. You could just long press the power button and it'll give you the options I'll show you guys right now. And USB debugging because most likely I'm gonna use ADB and I need to know that it's working. So, oh, we'll do that right now. So, let's see. Actually, this, let me plug it in. Okay. All right, so hold on guys, right there. Let me. Do something real quick. Let me run a command real quick. Okay, so once we do the ADB, always off in this computer. Okay, and now this is the part that I was gonna show you guys, but before we do that, Make sure that we got all the files that we need. So at this point, put it on file transfer and just transfer all your files that you need, okay? So you're probably gonna see me just throwing in files in there. I'll explain in a little bit what files I'm gonna throw in there. Okay, so let's minimize this. So what we need is, we're gonna need the ROM for sure. So let's throw that in there. Okay, 
So we're gonna also need Magisk 18.1 and probably not the latest, but it'll update as soon as we boot it up. We're gonna throw in the gaps. I got mini and nano, so I'll throw in both of them. You don't have to throw in both, but I just do just in case. Make sure you get the right ones for your phone. And also, let's see what else we have here. Okay, we're gonna throw in TWRP. Make sure you get the latest. I'm not on the latest, I think I'm one before the latest, but it's okay. And what else do we need? Just, you know, for me, I always like to keep the update in there just in case. You don't have to do it, but I do. Just in case anything goes wrong, I can just flash that and we're good. So we're gonna let that finish and we're gonna go into the recovery right now. Okay, so at this point, we're gonna go into the bootloader so that we could install all the files that we need. So at this point, you wanna long press the power button. And if you turn on advanced menu, I think it was, you should have these options. So from here, we're gonna go to bootloader, okay? Okay, so let's just, so let's do a command real quick just to see if my phone is being recognized. Fab, I'm gonna go fast boot devices and enter. So you can see it comes out, shows the device. So now what we want to do is if you have all your files on that same folder, you should be able to access them. So what I want to do is I want to boot uh, TWRP into my phone. So we're gonna do fast boot devices devices no oh, sorry we're gonna do fast boot boot twrp fajita that's how i have it named dot img and then you should see once you press enter you should see your phone booting into TWRP. All right, so at this point, what we wanna do is, we wanna swipe to allow modifications. What we wanna do is now we wanna swipe this real quick, just, just for the fun of it. I'm gonna go to install, and what we want to do is we want to install the ROM and TWRP. Okay, so let's do that. Let's do the ROM, add more SIPs, and then we're gonna to go to TWRP, and that should install it on uh, both on both partitions. Okay, so at this point. What we want to do is we want to go back real quick, go to reboot option, we're in slot A. What we want to do is, since we installed TWRP, we want to reboot into recovery. Okay, there we are. Now, here, what we want to do is, you see how it did this again. We might have to um, just get the fi the files, the additional files that we need, like before. So, again, don't get don't get scared. Let's just format this again. 
Okay. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna reboot the system real quick and just get the additional files that we need. Now, this is how, for whatever reason, this is how I've been doing it. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. I'm not doing it like everybody else. But um, every time we uh, install TWRP and we wanna reboot recovery, it always does that. But okay. Just make sure you go into the, let the ROM, the ROM boot, you know, and just put in all the necessary files you need, which we need the gaps. And um, what was the other one? The gaps and the magisk. And that's it. That should, you, should be go, you should be good to go. See, it's booting up, but it's gonna boot up quick because it doesn't have no gaps. So here, what we wanna do is go to, let's see. Options, connect device, file transfer. Again, we're gonna go file transfer. And we should see. There we go. File transfer. Okay. So hold on. All right. So once you located your files, just put them back in your um, on your device, and now we could just reboot, and we'll be all good. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so did the same thing, went into the ROM, activated the uh, developer options again, and I'm just gonna run a command real quick. And we're gonna reboot into the recovery. If you did the ADB reboot recovery command, you should be booting into TWRP any minute. Boom. All right. So once we are here, guys, once we are here, what we wanna do is just complete the process. So you see, we have the gaps and the matches ready to be, to be flashed, so. Uh, let's go with the uh, nano. Then we're gonna add more sips, and I wanna do magic. Then we're gonna wipe. I'm sorry, we're gonna flash. And then we're just gonna wait, let it do its thing. And this procedure, guys, goes for like, any ROM. Like I said before, if you're just going from ROM to ROM to a different ROM, you might wanna do this. Well, you know, where you installed. All the everything I did, you probably want to want to do it because you don't want no bugs and errors or anything later on. And if you're just going from the same ROM to the same ROM, just updating it, you don't have to do all these steps. Like I said, you can just dirty flash. But if you don't want a dirty flash and you want a better experience and not run run the risk of having any bugs or maybe a lot of battery draining, just do a clean install. And just wipe it and then install the the ROM that's you have the update for. Okay, at this point we are done. So I'm gonna wipe it and factory reset and let's reboot the system. <laughs> 